felt like it was played tight. The, just as, as close as it was, everybody going back and forth. It felt like that the, the whole game really felt like it was played almost like the last two minutes of a game. Did it feel that way to you guys as, as far as being as close as it was all the way through? Uh, uh, yeah, it felt, it felt close. Actually, I thought they was about to escape from us a little bit. They went up all the time. And uh, I had a big three, and that was, that was good. We got stopped, rebound, went down, scored. And uh, I think we, dang, we turned it up at the last two minutes. Johnny, Giovanni, you, uh, are you proud of yourself tonight that, that that was your biggest numbers across the board in, in a while? Uh, of course. Uh, it's good. It gives me a little, uh, a little more confidence to know that I could still go out there and play that way. Uh, and I'm basically just proud of everybody on the team. Man. Everybody stepped up and made a big play at a certain time in the game. Javon, it seemed like after not playing against Temple, it's, it seemed like you've come out and play kind of at, at, at the, the way you play when you're effective the past two, two games. Is, is that, was that kind of a conscious thing for you to just, just try to get back to basics? Yeah, I'm, just, I'm just playing basketball <laughs> the way I know how to play, uh, the way I've tried to play all season. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just playing. Did, do you feel particularly good tonight as far as giving the team a lift and so forth? Uh, of course. Uh, I feel good about that. Uh, it's good to know that uh, you could contribute and uh, help, your team make it, uh, help your team get a big victory. So I definitely feel good about that. Guys, when, if, you, if you think back to, to, to last year in, the, in this game, how, how good does it feel to, 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 to turn it around, to, to turn around to play, to play as well as you guys did tonight? Uh, it feels good. That's all I can think about the, the whole 365 days was that last game of the season and how we went up, went up, went up kind of soft. With the fans here. Yeah, with the, yeah, with the fans here. Uh, we couldn't repeat that, so I mean, it was good to protect home court. Well, with that in mind, when you see the fans get as into this game as, as they did, is, does that feel good for you guys to, to feel like you, 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 you guys stopped talking about wanting to turn the fan base and instead and ended up doing it anyway? That, that feels good. It, it, it made it feel kind of like a high school environment <laughs> in a rivalry game in a high school environment. So that definitely, when that when that goes on, you, you don't even get tired. Like, your adrenaline is just rushing and you just want to go out there and make plays. So. Javon, do you guys as a team, it seems like when all season when there's been some tight spots, it seems like you guys have, have looked at Terrell and, and, and he's made some big shots. Is, is that is, is that kind of a mark of, 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 of a leader? Of course. Uh, he got that clutch factor that, that people talk about. He got that. Uh, so when we go to him, he, he knows that it's time for him to make a big play, and he definitely steps up and does it. When you check back into the game trail at that point, were you thinking about it's time for you to make a big play? Uh, no, I was just thinking about uh, rebounding and uh, letting the game come. Javon hit me for an uh, extra pass. I heard the bench saying shoot it, so I shot it in the win. You guys talk about the defensive performance down the stretch. It seemed like when the crowd really got into it and you could hear it, like the stomping, it seemed like you guys just took it to another level on the defensive end. I mean, did that give you guys any lift at all, or did you guys just have it in your mindset that you were ready to lock in? Uh, I think it was a good thing that Montero had fouled out, and that helped us a lot. Uh, so when he fouled out, uh, our rotation was a little different because we kind of sag off the middle guy now and uh, really help out on uh, drives. So when he fouled out, that really helped out defensive rotation. The crowd definitely played a, played a part in it. Uh, they probably couldn't hear what it, whatever they were calling on the court, and um, also when the when Montero had fouled out, we we uh, said in the huddle that we were going to get stops and get the rebounds, get the defensive rebounds, which we which we weren't doing a lot earlier in the game. So we definitely did that. Anything else, good players? Yeah, could you just talk about what this game meant for you? <laughs> I mean, it meant the same as basically any other basketball game I played. Uh, it's definitely one of the biggest games of my career. Mm -hmm. um, to know that we're moving on and playing Temple again in the semifinals or quarterfinals, it was the semi quarterfinals. So uh, um, it's definitely big. We get to live to see another day, and that's what we talked about before the game. It's do or die from here on out. All right. Thanks, sir. Have a good coach. Entertaining college basketball game. Uh, 92 points, 83. Uh, I thought it got up and down. The fans were into it. And fortunately for us, we came out on the winning side of a, of a fast-paced, high-scoring affair. Um, and the CS have uh, 88, I think 89 and 92 in our last three games. It says a lot for our, our defense, I guess. <laughs> but um, it was a, that team, they played well. I thought Duquesne came at us with everything they had. Took a lead late in the second half, and I thought in the last six minutes, our, our guys in the team really made a concerted effort to try to win the basketball game. 
and to have the crowd into it the way it was, that was a big time uh, kind of ending, and I thought it was a big time college basketball atmosphere. And you know, obviously, the players and the, the university really appreciate that the, the fans have really started to come out and support this team. And I've said it for a while that it makes a difference when you have a packed student section and the, and the sides are filled. That it, it really does, and you know, I really uh, we appreciate that uh, the kind of support we're getting. Was that the best game in Javon's career? Yes, it, it really was. You know, 20, 20 points, nine assists, and seven rebounds. And I thought a couple of the rebounds at the end were huge plays. He went up over the rim and grabbed one one hand. Um, was really making things happen on the offensive end. That's actually a good game for him to play. It's kind of a freewheeling, um, open floor game. Not a lot of sets, and um, he usually thrives in that kind of kind of setting. And it was nice to see him play well because we need a full complement of players if we're going to do anything, you know, over a three-day period the way we're trying to play in Atlantic City. Derek, is it is it satisfying for you to see him respond the way he's responded after not playing against Temple? To, 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 to bounce it shows he's, a, he's grown up and is a man, you know, like to, to come back from not playing uh, against Temple, you know, didn't play the second half of one of the games, and, and he's kept a good attitude. Actually, his attitude has been great in practice, um, even after not playing in some of those games. And, He's given me the response I was looking for. Um, and he's, he's here playing for, for his teammates and, and the brotherhood. And um, that's, what we're, that's what we're all about is playing for each other. And, and Javon's done a nice job of coming back after a few games where it didn't go his way. You talked about, at, after the Temple game, you talked about wanting to see your guys get better at closing out a game and, and, and finishing like that. Is this a step from that? Yes. Um, we didn't make as many non-basketball plays down the stretch. Um, you know, we went to the free throw line and knocked them down, and we didn't give uh, Duquesne as many easy open ones uh, in the last four or five minutes to, um, you know, to give them hope. Really, I thought we closed them down very nicely. We defensive rebounded, and uh, we closed the game out in the offensive end. So, hopefully, that's a, a precursor of things to come. Um, if we're in that situation again, that we'll have the opportunity to, you know, play as well as we did tonight coming down the stretch. Terrell's. Uh Terrell had been struggling a little bit and came off and hit the two free throws and made the, the three-pointer when you were down five. Have you come to just kind of look to him for big in, in tight spots? He, f he finds a way. It's, it's kind of weird and ironic that he always ends up open and, and somehow knocks it down. He even had another one that I think went halfway down and kind of bounced out. Um, in TV, he's, he's, he's one of the guys that has been through, you know, kind of the ups and downs of, of being here. Um, and so I think he's got that toughness that not a lot of the um, – other guys possess where at the end of games, you know, he went away for, for high school for three years and, and things of that nature. So he's really a guy that is uh, mature beyond his years, and you can see that in the, in the closing of uh, the end of games. Did, did it feel like this game had a different feel to it? I mean, in other games, especially here at the Mullen Center, you guys have been able to kind of establish some separation, but this game was really locked in for the entire And most times we're able to, like, kind of, if the faster the game, the better. <laughs> there was times where I was like, oh, my goodness, what's going on out here? Um, but it was, uh, you know, we got up early, and then from that point on, it was really nip and tuck the whole way through. They never got up too many. We never really were able to pull away. And it, that, that's just a testament to March Madness and March basketball, where teams are going to go at it, and they're never going to quit. It's, if it's your last game of a potential last game of a season,